Hello viewers, Experience Speaks. In this video, I would like to touch upon a very important uh, point in a car. I will take you to the instrument cluster of a modern car. Typically, the instrumental instrument cluster, whether digital or analog, would have RPM meter, it will, it will have a speedometer, it will have the trip meter, the odometer, the engine temperature and the fuel gauge. I think most of us understand the function of a speedometer, the trip meter, the odometer, the fuel gauge and the engine temperature gauge. How many of us know as to why the manufacturer has provided for the RPM meter. The first thing I would like to tell you or clarify is as to what RPM is being measured through this particular gauge. I have asked this question to many car owners and even car drivers whenever I interview them for employment. I have not come across even a single car owner or a driver who has answered this question correctly as to why a manufacturer is providing the RPM meter in the instrument cluster. What is the importance? The RPM meter in the modern cars, if I remember correctly, started coming from the Maruti 800. Earlier in the times of Premier Padmani and uh, the ambassador Hindustan ambassador, a typical instrument cluster was just the uh, fuel gauge, the engine temperature and the speedometer and the odometer. The Hindustan ambassador had another meter in those days called the amp meter which is not required now. This amp meter was there to actually indicate as to whether your battery is being drained or not. In those days, the cars had a dynamo. Dynamo used to generate DC current and this DC current was used for the spark plugs and the other electrical system in a car. But with modern cars, when the RPM meter came in, the alternator replaced the dynamo. At all times, the current is fed from the car battery, which is the direct current. And the alternator is used to charge the battery. So, amp meter became redundant. Coming back to the question as to why RPM meter is provided. Firstly, RPM meter measures the revolutions per minute at which the crankshaft of the engine is rotating. I repeat, the crankshaft of the engine. Many car owners and drivers have answered this as the RPM of the wheel. No, that is absolutely wrong. It is the RPM before the transmission of the car. The RPM at which the transmission before the gearing is rotating. That is my first clarification. Now the question is as to why the manufacturer has provided the RPM meter. He could have jolly well missed it and saved some cost. The modern car manufacturer does not want you to strain the engine by revving it at very high RPMs or very high speeds. In cars of earlier times, by earlier times I mean to say pre-Maruti era, the times of uh, Hindustan ambassador and Premier Padmani, typically it used to be four geared manual shift and the range of each gear was very short which meant that on first gear, first gear you could only touch till 10 kilometers per hour. In second gear, 
20 kilometers per hour in third gear 30 kilometers per hour and in fourth gear 40 kilometers and beyond but with maruti coming in and the modern cars coming in the range of the gear was increased today typically the first gear you can go up to 30 in second gear you can go up to 50 60 in third gear even higher but the engine rpm shows that it is high the engine is strained the manufacturer wants that you should be typically going into the higher gear at 2000 rpm when you switch on the engine it idles at typically 800 to 1000 rpm depending upon the make and model of the vehicle and its engine if you are shifting gears you can rev it up to 2000 rpm and and shift to the higher gear which is why the rpm meter is provided i will suggest car owners and professional car drivers to actually follow this discipline by the manufacturer do not rev your engine beyond 2000 rpm in manual shift the next automatic question is then why in automatic transmission rpm meter has been provided because there it is pre-programmed that you know the moment it touches 2000 uh, rpm the gear shifts into the higher mode there are two answers to it the first answer is economy of scale designing and providing a separate instrument cluster minus rpm meter would add to the cost rather than reducing second sorry answer is if you have automatic transmission there is always an option to shift to manual also in that so once you shift to manual you need to keep a check on the rpm of the engine so that you do not strain it unnecessarily keep watching my video or other videos to learn more about car and car dynamics thank you goodbye and happy happy motoring